Welcome people, welcome back to Unique Media TV. We we'll get the latest news and updates in dance and reggae reviews and entertainment. So viewers and subscribers, today is um Danielle Rowe, the eight year old who got her throat slash, which was abducted. And today are funeral and thing, right? So one bag thing I go on. Cause funeral it does have a whole family member cause and thing and a cause it upon the government and them thing they so one only putting a, a surface the internet right now about this eight year old whose funeral is today. I may tell you, you know pretty at all. You don't pretty. But people before me get right down in another video here. I just want to know if you like up the video and share it. And also to subscribe to the channel if you are new. So my girls run the intro and get right into that story. So, views and subscribers, the Jamaican flag is said to be one of the reasons behind the chaos that erupted at the funeral of 8-year-old Daniel Rowe on Sunday. According to a police source, the Jamaican flag was stuck with a knife and contained red paint, suggesting of blood splatter. It is said that the flag drew the ear of some of the officiating ministers with a chaplain having tapped a senior police officer asking him to intervene in the proceedings. I was unaware of what was going on. The police brought it to my attention that the chaplain wanted to talk to me about what was happening, said a police source. He expressed some concern that they had desecrated the Jamaican flag and it is not something they wanted to be a part of the funeral, the source added. According to the source, the funeral home indicated that they did not place the flag on the casket. The government, in a statement on Sunday, distanced itself from the service, stating that although Education Minister Faval Williams gave a statement at the service, no other person from the government was engaged in the funeral. So the government said it was not involved in the planning of the funeral for eight-year-old Daniel Rowe, who was murdered in June. According to a statement on Sunday, Minister of Education Favreal Williams attended the funeral service in her official capacity as minister and gave remarks. No other person from the government was engaged in the funeral. Reports reaching Observer Online are that the funeral service for Roe was chaotic and disorganized. The government has again expressed its condolences to the family of the deceased and has renewed calls for the police to step up the investigations into the into her murder. Rowe was abducted from the Brayton Primary and Infant School in Port Moore, St. Catherine on Thursday, June 8, and was transported to Roseville Avenue in St. Andrew, where her throat was slashed. She was found along the roadway by a soldier who took her to the nearby Bustamante Hospital for children, where she died in the early morning hours of Saturday, June 10. People, may I tell you, this is one of the worst things that could ever happen to a mother. To happen to anybody who have somebody close to them. But this is a mother's pain. This is the worst thing that ever could happen to a mother. May I tell you, people. I must say, people, today there's a little girl funeral. And them kind of thing are supposed to go on in our funeral. May I tell you, people. Have a little respect. Have a little dignity we can all understand say the family in mourning right and blame who you want for blame and thing because our may hear people the little girl father him in the police force right so we could understand why them would have blamed the government but today the little girl funeral leave all of that for later so you're supposed to i think about the little girl so it's a very sad day, and this should never have happened. Um, I tell you people, it does make things even worse. But my condolences goes out to the family, and hope the family get justice for Daniel Rowe. Because people, this this a, this a get bad. It a get from bad to worse. People, may I tell you, say, every day we hear a new story. If an epitome I get killed, for unknown reasons so we are known for. It's either a man I get shot up or a woman I get killed and her head I get chopped off. People, Jamaica need for change, brother. The world needs for change. The world I get cool 
every day you hear bad news. This can't happen to anybody. But it's not supposed to happen to some people. Them things are not supposed to happen to none at all. All we can do is pray. All we have to do I just pray for the best. So viewers and subscribers, we are going to end the video now. So just make sure to so like and share the video. And also to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss an upload. And also enjoy the rest of your night. And thank you for watching.